Hi everyone. All right, today I have my very last Temu order. Yeah, because after this, I'm not using it anymore. I'm going to delete the app. Well, delete my account, delete the app from my uh, tablet because yeah, I'm just so fed up. I still haven't gotten my refund for my last order. They've received the stuff, but they're saying it's going to take at least up to 10 days for me to get a refund. Isn't that ridiculous? All right. So anyways, let me go ahead and let's do this haul. So it was delivered by the post office, thankfully not on track. So um, now it came in a really big bag because I had um, ordered some stuff that my mom wanted. So I, I just went ahead and just threw it with my order. I've already given her um, the stuff that she wanted, which is um, a bunch of like ukulele related stuff. She's in a ukulele group over at the senior center here in our hometown. And so she had me order her two cases and two um, ukulele straps or guitar straps. Um, she wanted this one particular case because she can't find it anywhere and it's too expensive on Amazon. And it's like this ukulele she bought from the Philippines is like a 27 inches, I think. And usually ukuleles are what, 23 inches. So she was able to I was able to find her a case on Temu and it was under $20. And so she's pretty happy with it because it's actually not bad quality. It's padded pretty well. But anyways, let's just go on and get on with the, uh, the haul here. So in no particular order, I had gotten the, um, I gotten these. This is, um, these are inserts. They are A5 inserts because I do have an A5 um, TN that I got from Amazon a while back. I wanted to try it, or rather, I wanted to try the size and see if I liked it. This is the uh, the insert. That's just a washi tape um, thingy. But um, the leather is actually not bad. I've cleaned this leather, um, and so I liked how it's kind of darkened it a bit. It's a, what do you call this? It's just a dark brown. And... These, this insert, I think, came with this, um, this cover. And then I had found this insert over at one of the bin stores. Actually, I'd found a set of like five, I believe, but it's lined. I don't normally like lined, but I couldn't pass this up because it was just, all of the covers are just so pretty. I mean, you see that there. So I don't know. I'll try it you know, just to see. But in the meantime, yeah, this one, I went ahead and decorated it. So I wanted more blank inserts because um, the ones that this one came with, it came with three, one was grid and then the other one was lined. And then I had found a big stack of probably about 15 or 20 A5 inserts. The only problem is that it's, um, they're lined, you know, and I'm using one right now as a junk journal, but I'm getting annoyed because they're lined. <laughs> it's like, I, I thought I could work with it um, being lined, but I, I can't. I, I, yeah, I've had to like lay um, paper down just to get past it. <laughs> it's just, it's just really annoying me. I was just like, yeah, I thought, oh no, I mean, I can, I can um, collage over it, but nope, not going to work. Okay. So I think I got this for maybe $5, I think. It's a pack of five inserts. Let's see how the quality of the paper is. Um, so the cover is not as hard as, um, or as thick as this one. I do like that this cover is much more thicker cardstock wise. This is a very thin cardboard um, or cardstock, but Ooh, the paper is rough compared to the other one. Let me see. Yeah, this is much smoother. It's a little bit smoother. It's thicker than this. This is much thinner. That's okay. I mean, I'll probably use these anyways for just doing my junk journaling collage work, you know. But I just wanted to have... Um, blank ones on hand. So got a set of those. Oops. And then, oh, oops. What else do we get here? Okay. Oh yeah. So I got more of these, um, stickers, the simple talk. 
Um, they're kind of a rip off of uh, Tim Holtz, I guess. And I wanted to try them in the pastel colors because I have just the black and the white ones. So I only ordered one. In hindsight, I probably should have ordered more. Ooh, this is even more flimsy than the ones I got from, was it Shein? I don't remember where I ordered it from. Either it was Tem, I think it might've been Temu before, but it looks like they're the same sayings. I do like this one better. I hope I'm in focus here. But it looks like, I'm trying to see color wise. So it's that, and then is it all green? Oh no, it looks like it's a repeat of, this, of these, yeah. These look like they're a repeat. And there's one more there. Goodness. Even though I applied lotion, my hands are still dry. So there we go. So these are always good to have when I'm doing my ATCs and the junk journaling. Um, and these are really cheap, less than $2. That's why I wish I had ordered more than just one. Okay. Then I got this, which is um, deco stickers. Let's see. Ah, so it's like a in book form. Okay, so they're PET or pet stickers, but not on a roll, which is kind of good because the roll really irritates me. Ah, so these are not. Oh, yeah, they are. Looks like they're pre-cut which will make it so much easier because that's what I can't stand about the uh, pet tape. It's sometimes it's so hard to try to peel off the sides and at least this one, it's already pretty cut. So it's going to be easy to bend and just pull off. Yeah, these are nice. Botanical. I don't remember how much this was. I'm going to have to look again. If I have to order, I'm going to order all of this stuff from AliExpress or Shein, whichever one has it cheaper. Yeah, I like this. This is really nice. Okay, so what else we got here? Uh, okay. So it looks like I got a necklace here. I know this one was really cheap. This had to be like a dollar twenty-nine or something like that. I don't know there it is. I'm trying to remember if I've ordered jewelry from Temu before. I don't think I have. Actually, on my AliExpress cart, I've got like probably twenty pairs of like hoop earrings <laughs> that are all like less than two dollars. So. I'm in this hoop earring phase right now. Hold on, I'm just trying to, it's all tangled up for one. And I'm trying to untangle it without breaking the chain. Ah, but this one is supposed to be the moon. Oh, okay. And it's caught, first of all. Let's just undo this. There. I'm going to try to undo this um, off camera. Okay, be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is the necklace. It's supposed to be the different phases of the moon. Sorry, there we go. Since I'm a Cancer um, and the moon is my planet, I always like to get that type of uh, zodiac related stuff. So it's actually a pretty good length. You know, normally when you order, it's like, what, 16 inches, and then you get the two-inch um, expander. But this seems like it's 18 inches, and then, like, a two-inch expander. Because I just put it on, and it's, I thought it would be sitting, you know, right at the collarbone. But it's it's actually longer, which isn't bad. It's actually not bad quality. It's pretty decent. So I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Not bad for, like, what, $1.30 or something? Okay. We got that and then I did pick up these stickers um I know this was like less than a dollar I think let's see I'm 
So here, oh, these are so cute. Damn, now I wish I had bought more of these. Oh, should let me focus there. Sorry. Let's just put this down. He's cute. I like that. Bring it up closer here. I hope it looks like I get doubles of them. No, maybe not. That one's cute. Oh, I love this one. The girl with the camera. And the backpack. Not bad. And these are actually not that flimsy. It looks like it was printed on photo paper. Yeah, that's why. It's got like a matte finish uh, feel to it as far as the uh, the surface of the paper. So, all right, put those in there. And then this, I don't even remember what it was. Okay, so let's just take that out. Okay, what is this? Ah, okay, so it's ephemera. Oh, they're tags, that's right. Because I'm like, why do they include, well, still, why do they include twine? So it looks like this, and there's two of each. They're stickers. With the burnt edges. I just want to make sure I'm in focus. Butterfly. You know, I could probably create that. I'm just gonna, I mean, I've got how many butterfly uh, dies or like punches this is giving me ideas in terms of like making my own ephemera because i do have Im some images that i've downloaded from uh that i paid for and downloaded from etsy so yeah maybe i could start doing that and then i don't have to buy the only thing is i'd have to fussy cut <laughs> but that's okay i can always do that while i'm watching um, YouTube or Netflix. Okay, so we've got that. All right, so I'm going to pull out a bunch of these washies. Because I remember when I ordered, I almost got all of the colors that they had. Okay, so with these washies, they're really pretty. Um, You know what? Let me um, unwrap all of these off camera and I'll be back. All right. I am back. So, and I didn't realize how zoomed in the uh, camera was. So sorry if it was really bad. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I, I picked up these washies and they were about $1.28 at the time when I got them. So they're called Butterfly Dance. So it's all butterfly themed and they're like stamps. Um, like postage stamps. So what is on the cover here is indicates the color um, for these. So for instance, let me, there we go. So all of this is like a light pink. I'm sorry if there's like a glare from all the lights here. So that's the pink one and it's like foiled on top of that. And then we've got the peach one. So it's really, really pretty. Let me get up closer. So you can see, all right? And one of my favorites here, the green, because green is one of my favorite colors, aside from purple. Okay. And then we've got the other three. So this one is purple. Let me turn it back on this side. I'm just gonna make sure it's in focus. And then the blue, I love this one. 
as well. And then this is like a purple and brown, almost like a darker purple. The other one, I guess you could say is lavender. So it's really, really nice. Um, let me see. I typically don't want to open this on camera because I like to, when I put it in my, I have like a washi book, so to say, where so I can keep track of all the washi that I've ordered. And, uh, I generally like to put the bottom and the top label with the sample of washi in my notebook, but that's okay. I can, I'm not going to use the bottom label. There's no need for it. Oh my God. Super sticky and it won't come off my finger. Um, so here I will peel this off so you guys can see. This is like really sticky tape. There we go. Before I cut all my nails off today because they're getting too long. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> it's just all, this is already bugging me and I can't get the tape off. But anyways, um, I'll try to show it maybe in an ATC card that I've done. So these are all the items that I got from Timu. And like I said, my last order with them because I'm done. I don't like the way that they handled their customer service, my issue. And um, yeah, I just don't trust them anymore after this. I mean, I haven't had any problems with the other Chinese um, companies or websites or apps, whatever you want to call it. But you know, it's a risk that you take when you order from there. So anyways, um, I will have my Amazon bin, Amazon returns and bin store video up uh, tomorrow. Okay. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend and a great week. Bye.